Hey there Kaiju fans, it's CreationZilla here and uh, today is the last video. Now before everybody starts freaking out, this is the last video in this house, in this setup. Uh, tomorrow I am moving into a college dorm, so videos will definitely slow down from here on out. I don't know if I'll have time to record anything up on campus or not. It won't be stop motion or anything, I know that for a fact. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to, you know, live stream up there, check in with you guys, or just play games, or that stuff. Um, but yeah, I want to let you guys know that, that, um, pretty much production on the channel, it's been slow, you know, I haven't uploaded anything since I went to G-Fest, so, uh, there won't be a collection update or a G-Fest update any sooner than mid-December, that's a really long time, but that's, a lot of my stuff is going up there with me, so I, I can't take all my figures, because stuff does have to stay here, so, a full collection update and everything will come, you're just gonna have to wait a long time for it, um, but, I do have something that I'm happy to talk about. In the background, there's a uh, photo. I have it on this other screen. And there's three characters on the screen. These are three original characters that me and my friend, uh, Christian Siebel, have been working on. It, uh, he's Sinmac Comics or Productions. That's his company's name. Now, these three specific characters he created, but I drew this picture and I helped design them and stuff. So, going left to right, you have on the far left is Ida Mano. He's an amphibious monster. He's th the strongest monster that's ever existed. He's crazy powerful. In the middle, you have Amazer Man. He's a he's a race of super beings known as the Gym Lords, and he's kind of like Ultraman, but in a in a different way. He's similar but different. So he's kind of like a space cop. And then on the far right, we have our antagonist, which is Diablon, and he's a demonic space giant race that likes to conquer things and stuff, so he's kind of the main bad guy. The reason I bring these guys up is because uh, the first issue of our comic has started. It's called Clash Arrival, Chapter Zero. It's only six pages, but uh, we've been working on this series for about two, three and a half years. This started off as an offshoot idea, and it's evolved to this point. I'll elaborate on that in the future, but, you know, we... We've been working hard for about the past month to get this first issue out. We've been, you know, working on the story and stuff for a very long time. We figured it's about time that it comes to public attention, so... There's, uh, I'll post links to our Facebook page in the description. We also have a website that the comic's being published on. We're currently working on the next chapter, which is going to be much longer. But, uh... Yeah, please check out our comic, Clash Arrival. The next chapter will be Clash Downfall. Actually, I don't think that's stated yet, so you're hearing it here first. Uh, I don't know how much Clash involvement will be on the CreationZilla channel, but it is a CreationZilla Cinemac comic collaboration. I'll get, we'll get into much more detail in the future, but that's one of our promotional picks. Go check out the comic. We've been working on it for a long time. If you like monsters, check it out. If you like tokusatsu, check it out. If you're just a fan of unique art styles, and it's, it's all hand-drawn. There's no digital enhancement. The only thing digitally done is... Um, text and stuff. I'm working on the story, and Chris does the uh, art and stuff, so. It's got his characters, it's got my characters. You've seen Yermitang and Uragon on the channel way, way back when when I was doing Claymation. They definitely look a lot different now. But, um, speaking of my own personal mascot, Yermitang, I'll leave my Divin art in the description. There's a couple sprites of him and stuff that I've done, but, um, there's a game coming out on Facebook, Planet G. I... Uh, I can't say the name, so I'll put the name on the screen here. He's making his own monster fighting game called Daikaiju Daikessen. And uh, Yerba Tang is actually going to be appearing in the game. So once I get that artwork, I'll post a video about it. And I'll post it all on the channel and everything. But yeah, so one of my monsters is going to be on a Steam release game. So more information will, will come on that when it comes, of course. He's still doing the artwork and stuff. He's going to do a really nice professionally drawn sketch of my monster and stuff. So it'll be nice to have some official artwork to use. So... Wrap up things, don't want to uh, keep this video too long. Last video, here at the house. Going off to college tomorrow, so... It'll be different, we'll see how it is. Not sure when the next video will be, but... Don't expect anything soon, but don't be surprised if there's a video by Friday. But don't expect that.
Our comic, Clash, Arrival, Chapter Zero. Go to our Facebook page, go to our website, it'll be in the description below. Please check it out. It's a project we've been working on for a very long time. We'd like to get it off the ground. It's an homage parody, kind of like um, One's work with One Punch Man and Mob Psycho 100. Those parody, but they're also respectful. That's what we're doing here. So, you know, this is our passion. This is what we've been working on. Give it a chance. Check it out. Alrighty. And for the last time from this location, stay strong, Kaiju fans.